So here in my workshop, I've been running a long-term test with a box that's on the wall. And what it has is a, a filament LED light bulb. Uh, the box comes from an earlier experiment with some uh, grow lights. Uh, but you can see the bulb's been sitting there on one side, and it just uh, runs away for hours on end. Well, it's uh, now well over a year that uh, I've started this experiment, and uh, every so often I go in and measure the bulbs. Uh, Lux output and I graph it. Uh, let me just inset the uh, actual um, sheet so it's a little bit easier to see. I started the experiment in April uh, 2015. It's now uh, July 2016, so uh, we're well over 10,000 hours, actually nearing 11,000 hours. Uh, there's about 8,800 hours per year. Um, and uh, we started at 644 Lux and then uh, it's dropped down to 616. So there's definitely a trend downwards. So this bulb indeed should eventually stop producing light. Uh, the only observations you can make is it's going to be a very long time before that happens. Um, if I take a look at the bulb, it would seem to be I'm dropping quite rapidly to start with, but it seemed to rally, which I presume is probably actually a measurement error on my part. Uh, the last few measurements, you can say it's really slowed down. I've only been taking a few. Um, took one in December, then took one in July, as you can see, dropping from um, 622 lux to 616 lux. Uh, if you start doing some least square regression lines, uh, this bulb, if it holds up... Um, is going to be running for a, a decade or so. Uh, so for completeness, uh, this is the actual filament LED that I'm looking at. Uh, it's slightly different than the one I tore down on my channel uh, a little while ago. Uh, it has a full metal base, no plastic sleeve. Uh, more importantly, this particular bulb actually has a, a UL mark with both Canadian and US certifications. Uh, so it's not just simply a, a bulb that has uh, no regulatory marks. And uh, I'm not sure if that contributes to the service life or not, but uh, this is the particular one that I'm running on the test.